Guess what? Big Brother is back. The state to act as our nannies and parents and wise gods are here to decide what is truth and what is fake news. Now, Culture Secretary Oliver Dowden has announced a consultation with Ofcom, the broadcasting regulator, to decide whether they should use state bureaucrats. These guys who sit in boring suits and ties and offices in, in, in the middle of a Westminster to decide what is truth and whether we plebs, uneducated plebs, should be told about it. Our brains should be exposed to lies or not. And a couple of problems with this. What they want to do is they want to censor Netflix and Amazon documentaries uh, on whether if, if they are essentially spreading fully false information or semi false in the eyes of the government now the their specific agenda is uh, on climate change now any documentary that will be you know of course spreading information that is against uh, the current uh, narrative and again especially of course we have to always be careful online to say what what we say they want to clamp down on that because our brains should not be exposed to such information now there are two flaws with this one is a practical flaw which is the fact that uh, we are using the government bureaucrats uh, to decide. Uh, they are they are to be our wise gods and experts. Uh, they will, only they'll know what the full truth is. Uh, so we are giving full power to them to do it. A uh, second issue, which is the moral flaw of this plan, if it happens, is the fact that they want to keep our brains in this bubble wrap, weird world of safety that they shouldn't even be exposed to false and fake news. Now that is a slight big problem. And uh, if you spoil our brain, the intellect will go down. You will create intellectual laziness within society. And you wonder why things will escalate in the future. We need to be exposed to truth, to fake news, semi-false, semi-true, opinion, facts, everything. We need to be exposed to all sides. And of course that will help us uh, with our brain exercise to form our own opinion. Secondly, if, if there is a documentary that is uh, spreading fake news, then there will be another documentary created to counter it. Firstly, that's good for the industry. Secondly, it will actually help create a debate and introduce more facts to say that, well, the first documentary was nonsensical. Let society debate. Let us decide what the truth is. And we are not stupid. You know, we are, we are of course, intellectual enough to know the basics of good and bad. We need bad to exist to see what good is. We need lies to exist to know what truth is. We need dark to exist to know what light is. It's not really rocket science, Oliver Dowden. Uh, but their excuse is that they say, well, Ofcom is already regulating TV. And we, we do that with TV documentaries. Well, let's do it online the internet. Well, I don't think it should even do it with TV. Give more freedom to broadcasters, including, of course, broadcasting news as well. Allow opinion to happen. And of course, people can decide for themselves. Now on this issue and regarding all the other stories uh, throughout the day, we're going to be discussing all that on our uh, podcast at 6pm, the daily show that we have at mytc.co.uk. Make sure to use the promo code We Are The Media to get a free trial access to all our daily shows, podcasts, the chat forums and everything else that we have on the website. Check out the website, website the link is in the description and use the promo code We Are The Media and I'll see you guys in the next video.